Hello, hello, beautiful Scorpio. Um, welcome into my channel, <laughs> the rare gazelle. My name is Rain. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio, or anyone for that matter. Even if you're not a Scorpio, I trust that there is something in here for you. Um, if you're new, I have the capability of visualizing energy, seeing energy, and obviously, um, you know, empath, clear sentient, clear cognizant, clear audience. Just like I'm just me. Like, you know, I'm just me. If you if you resonate, you resonate. If you don't, you don't. Um, there's a reason why I am calm right now, <laughs> the way that I am. Like it's almost like I'm whispering. Um, I actually attempted to do your reading three times yesterday and I'm going through something personally and your energy completely triggered me in, in the best of ways. Um, and so I'm approaching it from a different manner today and um, I feel like I'm ready to see it for what it is. And today it unfolded for me even more so. So we're ready. We're here. It's March 11th. I'm getting 11, 11, 111, 218, 121, and 722 as numbers for you. Um, um, you know, there's nothing on my table. A lot of people say like, oh, I have cards already chosen. I don't. So if I say something and a card comes out, it's because that's magic, sister. That is how we, that's how we flow in magic. All right. Um, so Scorpio, I'm actually going to say my channeled messages and later, um, I feel like I need to flow in the cards. All right. There's a lot that I channeled. You can, um, pause the reading if you want to, you can go to the, um, community page on YouTube. Um, if you want to read that first, but I feel like I need to get into the cards and then tie in the channeled messages as the energy presents itself so i'm just gonna flow with spirit at this time my left ear is is burning so lately my ears haven't been ringing they've been i've been feeling sensations of of the energy hot cold vibration i think also um i'm getting really itchy and I actually thought that this was a psychic attack. I'm starting to think that I'm feeling energy on a different level. I'm feeling new vibrations. So a lot of things are starting to unfold. What I will say, beautiful Scorpio, is that um, you're truly a queen today. Or a king, if you want to substitute that. But what Spirit told me a few weeks ago for you is that Scorpio... You're truly a queen today. And I'm going to take my time with you to explore this because there's a lot in this space. There's a lot. There's a lot of emotions. There's a lot of anger. And there's no spiritual bypassing here or toxic positivity. We embrace the emotions that we feel because we they, they take us to truth. They take us to truth. They take us to wounds that we need to see. There's something here that you need to see, Scorpio, within yourself. You need to see that you are a queen, that you are a king. I feel like you're awakening this spirit. You're awakening the queen spirit right now. And you are being it. I'm seeing an opening. I'm seeing a void and I'm seeing a light that's coming out from it. It's coming this way. It's coming out. That is the spirit of the queen that you are awakening or king. Again, substitute if you need. Thank you to my great grandmother, Nyla. Thank you, guardian angels, ancestors known and unknown. Thank you to my grandmother, Sophia. Thank you to Goddess Anana Ishtar. Thank you for your blessings, your love, your protection, and your presence in this space today. And thank you for Scorpio for allowing me to read for you today. Amen. <laughs> That's so crazy. So this was at the bottom of the deck. And I was saying, I felt, or I, I didn't feel, I saw the void. I saw like an opening and the light coming out from it. And that's what I'm seeing here. The light coming out 
from this void that I am seeing. And I know this looks like um, not, I know this may not look like a void, but it is. It's a, it's a void. And you can see the walls, which is interesting because usually walls are not within the voids. Voids are very vast. Um, when you feel and even see the, the voids, they're very vast. It almost looks like a barren wasteland. But anyway, um, this is this is what I saw. So this is the best way to visualize the energy that I'm seeing now. This boat is <laughs> very interesting. This boat that is moving towards the light. There are energies that are moving to the awakened spirit of the queen that is rising up from within you right now and what are what are boats i'm seeing three of wands you know like the your your boat is coming in your blessings are coming in but this is this is not just this is a blessing that is returning this is a boat that is returning to the queen the boat is returning to the queen the energies are returning to the queen is something that i'm seeing here why why look at this crow okay so um now i can tie in the channeled messages this is what i wanted this is how we needed to flow today so on march 9th i got the vision of crowns on crows and i heard you're truly a queen today um, I started to see images of magnets and a feeling of sensation of gravitational pulling. That is this gravitational pulling of this boat. The boat, your blessings, the energies are being gravitationally pulled to the queen spirit that it, you are awakening within you, that is awakening within you. Okay, so there's a lot. That's this gravitational pulling, which we will also explore you're becoming a magnet for paranormal activity and supernatural phenomenon. We'll get to that in just a moment here. Okay, and then I saw a vision of crows circling around you is what I'm seeing here. And this is this portal. Look at this void again. That's this. You see that light? That's this light right here. Okay, so 1444, 1444. So... Um, there's a 144 frequency here. That's powerful. That's a 144 frequency. That is powerful. And I'm sure you've heard of 144. There's a lot of theories about 144. So use your discernment. I'm not going to get into the number here. Um, I just heard they gave their power away. You gave your power away. So this is a power recall right now. This is a power recall. I know you hear all the time, you gave your power away, you're recalling your power, but we're going to explore. I just saw tissues and then I saw this card and then I heard connective tissues. We're going to connect the tissues. <laughs> we're going to connect the energies rather. Um, we're going to connect what are we connecting here spirit we are going to connect the dots we're going to connect the dots we are going to figure out where your power went to because it's coming back to you tenfold and it's bringing in blessings on the boat as well this is interesting what am i seeing I'm seeing hands and I'm seeing someone like grab, like hold on to the power that you gave. You know, we unintentionally give our power away. We, un we unintentionally do it. But where does our power actually go to and what happens when it's in the wrong hands? What happens is what I'm getting here. I'm getting chills. Because it's not meant for them. It's meant for you. It's meant for you. You do have here the heart home, which we'll get into in just a moment. There's a lot of eyes here. See, I'm telling you, there's a lot of eyes on you. Um, you hear the eyes of the eagle rising above the fray.
there it is. I saw someone holding, holding on to the power. This is your power that is returning to you. Who is this? You hear the closing door. You have here the deep diver, the cosmic womb. Oh, you have a beautiful feminine Venus energy. Okay, so take a look at your Venus sign. There's something about Venus. This is also, um, okay, hold on. We'll get to that in just a moment. I'm seeing that you gave your power away to somebody. You gave your power away to somebody and this is what's making you fucking mad. You're mad. You're angry. You're wrathful. Some of you, you may even have fallen into like vengeful. Okay. And I want, I, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, that's not light. That's not love and light. Okay. I get it. I get it. But we're here to be love, light, and darkness to balance, to balance. And we're here talking about you're truly a queen today. If you are mad, be mad. It's, it's for transmutation. It is for transformation. You're, what you're feeling right now, the emotions that you are feeling is leading you, leading you deeply, deeply into these hidden shadows of yours. It's, 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 it's leading you deep. To some some truth of yours if you're mad that you gave your power away that is a valid emotion when the queen gives her power away she is wrathful she is angry off with their head queen of queen of hearts right from alice in wonderland this is also reminding me of how alice in wonderland went down the rabbit hole deep diving but you you're truly a queen today scorpio because you're recalling your power and someone is holding on to it i'm telling you feel the emotions that you're feeling this is why i had such a hard time getting into your space yesterday because everything was amplified the emotions are, are high right now because you're stepping into the spirit of the queen. You're awakening the spirit of the queen energy inside of you. So go deep into the emotions. As you go deep into the emotions, you're actually diving deep through a doorway. There's a portal here that you are moving through. We're going to tie. We're going to connect everything. Okay, so just bear with me. This is how I'm seeing the energy. As you feel these emotions right now, you feel them, you're going to pass through a door. This is not a closing door. This is an open door. The door is opening. Your emotions lead you to spaces that you need to see. We said that earlier. So this is the space that you are moving through so that you can see eyes of the eagle and what are you going to see when you when you pass through this door what are you going to see when you pass through this not only are you going to see but you're going to feel you're going to feel your power you're going to see your heart You're going to see the cosmic womb. I just heard they're. I, I just heard they're going to see the baby. <laughs> My face. You're going to see the baby. You're going to see the new. This is the. This is the spirit that you have awakened. You're going to see the queen. And the queen inside of you right now is mad. She. He is angry. She's upset. She is vengeful. She is wrathful. The queen inside of you has been quiet. That's why I, I felt 
regarding love oh my god i'm going to tie in the love message right now because some of you maybe this is a person that when you gave your power away this is someone that you dated this is someone that you were in a relationship with maybe this was a a parent or someone in your family member friend uh, however you may resonate with this regarding love i saw someone have um a knot in their throat it was knotted it was a knot in their throat you said something to somebody because you felt the emotion and you passed through the door and you started to see the queen inside of you and you let someone have it you lit a fire under someone's ass you said something to someone you exchanged some words with somebody you said something to this person or maybe you sent it energetically to them because you felt mad because you're feeling exactly what that experience you're connecting to your experience you're connecting to your experience a connection that you haven't touched before a connection that you didn't feel before but you're feeling it now and you're feeling it in this amplification of energy it's amplified it's a lot so you want to cry you want to you want to scream you want to throw some shit you want to break some shit because you're awakening it you're connecting to your experience right now you're seeing the queen the queen who has been quiet you're seeing the queen who did not trust in her resolve or her power you are seeing the queen who may have had to be quiet or pretend hide You're also seeing where your power has gone to. And that's what we call recall of power. This is the crows that I saw. You're recalling your power right now. And when you recall your power, look at this person. Look at this person. Look at this person. Hold on to it. They don't want to let it go because when they let go of it, they are going to be powerless. Let me tell you something else. When they held on to your power, that was the one thing that connected them to you, to your heart. That was the one thing that connected them to you having your power, holding your power, holding your energy, holding the queen's spirit or part of the queen's spirit. For some of you, this is not just one person. This is your power that you have given to others, more than one person, and you're recalling it from many. However, that may resonate with you. For some of you, it is more than one person. And I feel like this is why I'm feeling it this intensely. But you're recalling your power because you're truly a queen today. You are settling into deep trust, resolve, and power and just being. There is an energy that is moving through you and it's moving through you with grace. You're learning how to forgive. That's also the queen. Because as you ventured into this deep, as you ventured into the deep quiet, into the deep stillness where that queen spirit laid upon and just she, she just sat there quietly, angry and wrathful, you forgave her. And that is how she rose up is through the power of forgiveness and through the power of being seen. 
you showed compassion to the queen inside of you. I'm getting an energy with this person right now. Um, let me just organize these cards a little bit. <laughs> Because I'm seeing an energy from this person, something that they did with your power, I'm seeing um, it hurt them because it's not meant for them. The power wasn't meant for them. It was meant for you. The power was always meant for you. The power is yours. It doesn't belong to this person. When you connected with this person or these people and you're not I feel like you're not in their life anymore and as you know energy doesn't know no bounds it doesn't know space okay so I feel like you're not in this person's life anymore you may have also blocked this person but you may have noticed that when you disconnected, like you gave your power away to this person, you guys disconnected, you don't talk anymore, they may have blocked you or you may have blocked them. Again, we're exploring what happened to your power, what happened to your energy, where is it? You see how they're holding on to it? It's because it was a resource to them. They did something with it. You may have noticed that maybe they started to receive blessings. Maybe if you dated this person, this person moved on very quickly to someone else. Maybe they started a family. I'm seeing a fetus. I'm seeing a baby. Maybe they had new beginnings. Started a new job. Got a new car. But see, all of these blessings and good fortunes are temporary. It's temporary. Because this feels like it's going against divine will, whatever it is that they're doing with your power and your gift right now. It's against divine will. It's not meant for them. It's meant for you. And you see the cactus with its prickly... The, the prickliness of the cacti. This power started to hurt them. There's some distortions here when they used your power for their own gain. It started off as a resource, yes. It started off as, you know, they're getting blessings, they're getting good fortune, there's good things happening for them, but it's not meant for them. The power that you gave to them was meant for you. Those blessings that your power created was meant for you. Now we step into the Garden of Venus. Because what is Venus? Venus is the energy of love, blessings, good fortune, and also relations to other people, desires, and passions. Your power, you see the color? You see the color here? Especially in, this, in the sphere of your power, you see that? It's very much the garden. I'm getting this energy, sorry if I'm, if I'm itchy, it's just this is my skin right now because I'm going through some things. Your power, so imagine your power have like, like a specific task I just heard. Your power has a specific task. It has like specific codex of information, a specific like, even the egg, like there's some kind of specific information, the divine feminine, that your power has to create 
and, and like it has a specific task to do in the realms you know does that make sense like your power has a specific thing a specific task a specific energy codex of information like dna and knowledge and powers and you know what i mean and they used it to get the blessings for themselves but your power is yours the information and the task that your power um acts as that your power does is to fulfill you is to fulfill you the garden of venus your desires your passions that's what your power thank you spirit sorry if this is taking me um a while to just unfold your power has like specific codes um dna templates codex of information of like your desires and your passions okay and that's its task to when you use it when you tap into it that's what it cultivates for you all right now when you gave this power away when you gave that energy away and these people held on to it and they used it they brought in these blessings but these blessings were not aligned to them. So even though it acted as a resource in the beginning, it started to hurt them because it's not the divine will. It's not theirs. It's yours. Does that make sense? So this, I'm feeling like this person or these people, they're going to be experiencing a lot of loss. They're going to be experiencing a lot of loss um losing losing the things that they have gained so they may have had a lot of like temp uh, like quick success and it's going to fall very quickly and it's it's interesting because i was just talking to a beautiful friend of mine um erica who i have shared her channel with on the channel uh the healers table we were talking about being on the right side of karma this whatever this person is doing and these people are doing is on the wrong side of karma this is the wrong side of karma so they're getting their karmic they're going to pay karmic debt right now and they're paying it they're paying it they're going to be paying it um because it's not theirs it's yours these are your blessings and this is why like i've been feeling for 2024 and i wrote um a channeled message on my instagram that 2024 is going to be the year of karma some will rise and some will fall and this is why you received the channeled message that you're truly a queen today because your queen is rising up because you are rising up scorpio Let me just feel how I want to shift right now. So just bear with me, please. This, um, this, when you recall your power, remember how I was saying the sensation of, of gravitational pulling and you're becoming a magnet for paranormal activity and phenomenon. That's, that's this that's this so there's a lot of things that are being pulled towards you okay so you're recalling your power that's gravitationally being pulled towards the queen spirit that you have awakened within self okay we got that part what is also being gravitationally pulled towards you are also going to be people i don't know if i mentioned that i'm so sorry if i did and i'm repeating myself people you may be um, gravitationally pulling in, in energies like monitoring spirits, um, jealousy, envy, maybe even unflattering attention or flattering attention. Like it could be on, on the entirety of the spectrum of energy and emotions <laughs> and spirits. Um, I feel like there's a lot of spirits that are also very drawn to this awakened queen of yours that is rising up right now. Um, this divine feminine 
Okay. Okay. Love that. So you do have here an angel number 644 that's coming in. And actually 644, when you look it up, it is the number of protection against evil and bad luck. So thank you, spirit. I mean, thank you. This is exactly what I needed to shift into to talk about and to notice. So you are being protected against evil and bad luck right now. Because when you're a magnet for paranormal activity and supernatural phenomenon, um, you will also attract spirits that are not so great. But spirit here is saying that you're protected against these spirits. Now also, um, whoever you blocked, whoever this person is for you that you have given your power to or people, um, I feel like, again, they're not in your life. And, um, I feel like because you're recalling your power and they're feeling the loss of it, they're, they're, they're losing their blessings. They may be wondering what is going on with you. What is happening with you? Is, is he or she moving up in the world? What, 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 what are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? So they are unintentionally, or maybe some of them are intentionally sending you monitoring spirits to monitor you. That is also what you are being protected against, 644. Okay. So yeah, your ships are coming in, my love. This is also what you're gravitationally pulling in because this is what your power is pulling in. This is what your power is pulling in. Your, your desires and your passions. Let me see what else I'm I'm shifting into right now. So there's something about the crows. There's something about the crows. You're truly a queen today, 3232, as I said that. And here's 32. Interesting. Connectivity. You're connecting. You're definitely connecting to yourself, to the queen inside of you. You're connecting. You're connecting. So um, I'm also feeling something about these crows. There's also something about your magic and your gifts that now we're also shifting into. So just bear with me. Let me just shuffle these a few more. The cheetah. Oh my god. Fast. Very, 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 very fast. Quick. I just heard in a quick succession. In a quick succession. What does succession mean? Like sequential? Like something sequential? Succession meaning a number of people or things shared a specific characteristic and follow one after the other. Interesting. The action or process of inheriting a title, office, or property. See, succession. Interesting. So this process is happening in a quick succession, but it was not, oh my God, what the, what am I seeing here, Scorpio? If this is a family member, if this is a family member of yours that has like, when you gave your power to them. If this is a family member of, of, of yours, it wasn't, again, it's the same thing. It wasn't meant for them. It's yours. Like, there's something about the family lineage. Like, this power, this gift was never meant to go to them. It was meant to go to you. Like, now I'm hearing the great succession. Like, it was passed down from your ancestors and, and you know, your your great-grandmother, your great-grandfather to 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 their children and then you know so on and so forth and like it was meant to be passed down to you next but you gave your power away 
to a particular family member and and it's not meant for them it's meant for you so that's the succession it's being returned very quickly back to you so i'm seeing a lot of of your ancestor spirits here assist assist this energy to be moved to be moved to its rightful heir oh my god now i'm getting like heir to the throne holy fuck i just got chills oh my god now i want to watch game of thrones again <laughs> i've seen that show the whole season like the whole series i've seen it at least seven times you're truly a queen today this is your fucking power this is not theirs so for some of you this is truly a family member let's read what also said that was definitely a message for someone the action or process of inheriting a title yeah so you're in that's that's why i heard that you're inheriting you're inheriting this title you're truly a queen today thank you spirit of the most high i mean thank you the sea serpent which is you know completion and renewal okay this is also why you got the closing door and on the closing door again in the visualization of energy in the beginning it was an open door for me because you're diving deep into this open void and this is where you saw the queen that was quiet in that void in that depth so there's something that now that you have seen what you needed to see and feel the emotions that you needed to feel you're going to close that door and you're going to start a new one i just heard you're going to you're going to start your inheritance you're going to start your inheritance and that's where this cosmic womb comes in going to start it's going to begin it's going to begin I, you know what's interesting like i always see eyes in your space like constantly i did this reading where i was like i channeled eyes and i just like underlined it i was like eyes are so prominent here i don't know why and here like there's an eye there's an eye right there however this person is looking it's just piercing and then the eye of the crow there's definitely something with eyes here and i don't know what i channeled before about the eyes i okay so i'm getting the message that like you're going to be seeing yourself differently you're going to be moving differently you're going to be seeing how you're moving differently as the queen because you're settling into deep trust resolve and power you're just being and you're going to see the grace that is moving through you you're gonna see it three of pentacles that's again this like connectivity i love how this uh three of pentacles is because it's reminding me of this connectivity card with the jeweled web you're connecting yourself yes to a new timeline yes to a new cycle where are they connecting themselves spirit your blessings the garden of venus to your true desires and your passions that are rightfully yours your inherited energy your inheritance you're going to be experiencing that that's where you're going to begin your ships are coming in again with these blessings you're connecting yourself to your blessings now you're connecting yourself to your blessings and your ancestors are helping you connect there yes three three it's interesting because again i was just talking with my friend erica about the three sisters <laughs> keeps coming out and here's the three of pentacles again this is literally three 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 right here and three of swords underneath that so there's definitely like power of three i'm also seeing that's wow the fish at the bottom they're, they're just pisces season so this is happening very quick for you um i don't know how much we have left of pisces season let me see it's just like one one more week yeah till march 20th and then we, we shift into aries season 
I just heard this is your season. This is your season. Yeah. Okay. Something about threes, but I also feel like something is happening in threes. Because you're going to receive this. You're going to, you're, thank you, spirit. Confirmation right there. You're getting something back, right? Your blessings, your power, your gifts, like all of it is just like, again, like this gravitational pull. There's so many energies that you're pulling in. And so there's going to be events happening like one after the next after the next i just now heard in a quick order oh my god the unicorn wow i feel like i want to read and the dolphin this is friendship friendship um very kind spirits is now something that i'm feeling here family I feel like you may be connecting with um, some kind of new soul tribe because also the Garden of Venus, like Venus energy is also how you relate with others. So I feel like you're going to be connecting and relating um, differently with other people is also that I'm seeing here. People are going to see you for who you have always been. The people that did not see you, the people that knew who you truly were and denied you anyway those people are going to fall like flies they're not going to connect with you anymore because again remember i said that the only the only thing that connected this person to you is that they held your power that's the only thing that connected them to you is because they held your energy they held your power that was it that was it, but you're going to be connecting and relating to other people very differently. Those who see you, those who really fucking see you, and those who've always believed in you, believed in your uniqueness. Yeah, see, look, the devil in the rivers, because they're all going to fall off. Yes, I want to be dramatic right now, so let me be dramatic. They're going to fall like flies. You have here the golden egg. The golden egg comes out constantly. I'm feeling a lot lighter now in your space. I feel so much better. <laughs> you have no idea how hard it was to do this reading. It was so hard. I, I had so many blocks yesterday and today I feel like we pushed through. So I'm so fucking happy about that. Um, yeah, that's how I feel. I feel balanced. Ah, with the butterfly transformation. Um... It just heard cracking open. You're you're cracking open. You're cracking open. Who did I do that reading? Cracking open to break through. I think it was Capricorn. So you may connect with that Capricorn reading actually. Cracking open to break through. Breaking open to break through or something like that. What else? What else for Scorpio? Oh my god, the whale. The whale constantly, 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 constantly is the whale. Because it's ancient. Ancient knowledge, ancient gifts, ancient wisdom. It's interesting because I'm seeing this golden egg both house the frequencies and the energies of the whale and the unicorn. And they're all like cracking open. I'm seeing it like that. Like, oh yeah, and the egg and the, again, the cosmic womb, the egg, and you crack it, the crack, the egg open, and the fetus, and like the birth. Okay, so I'm seeing that here, but why? Like, I want to know why. Remember how I was saying like ancient, the codex of information, like how your power had like specific blueprints? of your desires and your passions and like the task like it had a very specific task that's what i'm seeing here on the egg like i'm seeing this this geometric shape as like a specific blueprint that is housing the whale and the unicorn frequencies some like your unique blueprint is what i'm seeing here but also your ancient blueprint and the knowledge and the power that is also being inherited to you for you to experience and to begin and to connect with as this power and this uniqueness and this gift is yours it's yours it's yours 
Um, let me grab a last card and then we will flow into love. Anything else for Scorpio? I just heard this is your rebirth. The butterfly with the two of pentacles. Yeah. Infinity and the two of pentacles on either end being held. Being held. This is interesting. Because I feel like that's almost like what I was doing here. There's something here that is working simultaneously. Like two worlds, two energies that are working simultaneously. I don't know what that's about. The whale energy and the unicorn. Let me read that. Because that's the whale and that's the unicorn. Let me go to the unicorn first. Reconnecting to higher wis wisdom or divinity. It's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Did they ever exist? Perhaps long, long ago. The mind answered maybe, or it could be, or no way. This very contemplation explains our relationship with divinity and encapsulates our wavering belief in the unicorn. We wonder what divinity is. We wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. We think about a higher power and our mind hesitates between yes, no, and maybe. Is it male or female? Does it have a name? Is it just a feeling? The unicorn appears and wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating the inexplicable. Inexplicable. The mind's eye. There's the eye again knows there is something beyond our day-to-day -day lives the deeper dimension to our experiences and i did mention that you're connecting with your experience right now the mind's eye reaches and reaches and reaches out to grasp something more you are the unicorn and you have begun your quest for the answers you're truly a queen today i just got chills you're truly a queen today Let's read the whale so we can encapsulate this energy. Where are you at? Desire to delve deeper, profound peace and ancient wisdom. And just a reminder, you did have this deep diver card. The whale represents profound emotional health and stability. And this is why I said I was feeling so many emotions in your space. Whale personalities are not afraid of emotional expression or traversing difficult terrain as they may as they have overcome many challenges in their lives. These experiences have enriched them, given them stability, strength, and a depth that is rare. Oh God, this is you. I mean, this is you, honey. Whale energy is usually linked to the feminine forces of compassion and communication. And I mentioned that. We can depend on whale personalities when all else seems lost and trust them to be a beacon in our darkest hour. When out of balance, it, it's heavy and it slips into old story. And I think that's what happened with you. I think that's why I was feeling so heavy yesterday. You perhaps slipped into an old storyline. You perhaps slipped into an old narrative. And you just like, that's where this anger and this frustration and this wrathful is coming from. But you dove deep into discovery you dove deep and now you're calm steady and deeply compassionate you're truly a queen today i'm gonna get into your love i'm gonna get into your love thank you spirit of the most high i mean
I'm going to get in your love, honey. Okay, so for love, um, I'm going to just reiterate what I felt regarding love. And um, where do I want to go? Let's get a crow oracle for you since we're in the theme of crows for you. So regarding love, I saw a vision of a throat. And within the throat, it was a knot. And I felt like you said something to somebody or you were, you're, feel, you're feeling angry about some kind of an experience. And again, no toxic positivity and no spiritual bypassing. Feel what you feel. It leads you to truth and it leads you to healing. I feel like you gave somebody words, like you exchanged something heavy with this person, or you may have told them off, or you just said something, you couldn't hold it in anymore, you just had to like speak what was on your mind, and it may not have been tasteful, but you know what, it is it is what it is, like it came out the way that it came out, and I feel like you left someone speechless, like to the point where they're looking at you and wondering, um did you really just say that to me? Or like, I didn't expect that to come out of you. And like, you left this person with a knot in their throat. They don't know how to say their words. They don't know how to communicate after what they just experienced with you. And so I feel like they are trying to connect to their experience with you. Um, I feel like we just went through your experience in your spiritual growth this could be the same person that we read that you gave your power to and now that you've recalled it um this could be another person so we'll see what's going on here so let's see for scorpio and their love for scorpio please and their love scorpio and their love yeah okay so you have night and grief so i feel like this has ended or you have gone through some kind of loss like there's some kind of grief in this relationship there's some kind of loss this may have like abruptly ended but i feel like this connection is in the dark right now it's not really in the light I feel like it's also not balanced. There could be a significant age gap is also something that I'm seeing here. I'm, I, I just heard 10. Maybe you're 10 years in age apart. Not that it matters, but um, that's coming out here. You could have met this person when you were like in your early 20s is also something that I'm seeing here. Okay, I don't oh, I don't like love messages like these kinds of oracle cards, but this one I was drawn to, so I I just go with the flow. For Scorpio. Yeah, so I'm seeing 8 of cups, so space. I need more time to think. For Scorpio. Yeah, disagreements. I felt that. I felt that. Like you had some disagreement with somebody. And you do have here forgiveness. But it says I'm struggling to get over the past. One more. I'm afraid of what other people may think. You have your gossip. I'm seeing a train track with a lever. I feel like you really triggered this person because I'm seeing the night as shadows. I'm seeing the night as like the night, the shadow, even the light of the moon, like illum illuminating the shadows of the night is something that I'm seeing here. And this person is real. This person is definitely feeling the loss of you right now. This person is definitely like in their head, but I feel like they may have asked for the space or like you may have asked for the space, but it's almost like, fine, I'll give you fucking space. And then now they're realizing what space is really 
doing to them like they're really trying to connect to their experience right now and in this space they are seeing their shadows right now so you really may have triggered this person there were definitely a lot of arguments I feel like there was a pattern of like arguing and forgiveness, arguing and forgiveness, arguing and yeah. Um, I'm also getting this energy of like some of you may have argued and they talked about your argument to like other friends to get their opinion. But when they did that, they didn't like what, the advice that they gave or something like that. Or maybe you did that. When you argued with them, you went to your friends to kind of share and they didn't like that. But they didn't like that because they knew how they would look. So it has nothing to do with like you telling your friends. It was everything to do with how they looked. Okay, so I'm seeing the train again. So I'm seeing like you're the conductor and you're about to pull the lever. I'm seeing rocks. There's a lever here that's being pulled because if you don't pull the lever to change tracks, you're going to hit the rocks. The train is going to crash. One, 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 three, four, four. I feel like there's some kind of disaster that you're avoiding here. I feel like supreme protect protection right now. I feel like if. if I feel like you're going through grief right now. I feel like you're feeling the loss of this relationship, but trust, I feel like. I feel like this is divine protection. I feel like this is divine protection. I feel like something was going to get worse. I feel like forgiveness is important to get over the past, like to move on. And I feel like that's needed here in this grief process. Yeah, someone's lost. You have here the labyrinth. You may have felt very, you may be in a complicated state with this person. Like your, what's your relationship status? It's complicated. <laughs> I'm seeing that on a Facebook status for someone. But this is like a problem to solve. Catch 22, a situation to sort out. But this is what I'm feeling here with this. It's like it's going inward. Again, like someone is trying to connect to their experience. I feel like this person is really trying to figure out what just happened with you guys. Someone just recently, why do I keep hearing knocking? I keep hearing knocking. It's distracting me. <laughs> um, you may be connected to an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may have like really cared for this person, like very nurturing, very secure. But it, this also says possessive and like independable at times. Someone may have been a manager, business owner, banking, or a CEO. I'm seeing someone recently went to a wedding. You could have also been married to this person. I'm seeing some. I'm seeing three of three of cups. We did see three of cups. So someone is going to some kind of celebration or a birthday party. I feel like there are people who may be talking about your relationship why i don't understand people who do that um but that's what i'm getting here yeah there's some kind of legal matter here so this could be a, a divorce that you're going through 443 but it does say finished so something is is finished i'm seeing judgment it's like it's being finalized something is being finalized if you're if you're going through something legal it's being finalized if you're going through a divorce it's being finalized it's finished, but this is a serious situation. This is a serious matter. This is, a, but a situation is going to solve out. There also may be a, a legal problem. It is going to sort out in your favor or come out in your favor. Is something that I'm seeing here that someone needs to hear. I'm also seeing like there is some kind of um, offer that you're going to be getting regarding. Yeah, regarding work. Thank you, Spirit. I'm seeing regarding work. Like, you have a very specific skill set that someone is looking for. I'm seeing that number again, 443. It says here, intense. And I'm like, well, that is Scorpio, but we love it. Um, 
you're really going to excel at this new job. If you if you're in a new job and you're like wondering how this new job is going to play out for you, like you're really, really, really going to excel at it. Like it's something that I'm seeing. You're really going to excel at it. You're going to be incredible at it. You're going to do such a great job. Um, you're going to extend yourself to others. You could be in a mentoring position, um, but you're like completely capable. This is going to move you into self-reliance. Like you're going to really rely on yourself, maybe even like making your own money. I don't know if you connected to this person and like they were the main soul provider here with, um, um, provider, but I see you providing for yourself is something that I'm seeing. Yeah, changing. At this time, anything could happen. The energy is in a state of flux. But see, it needs to change. See what I mean? Like here you have unchanged and then changing came out together. Because I feel like you've been in this situation with this person and there was like no changes. There was no growth. There was like you may have had repetitive disagreements over and over and over again. I'm seeing 11-11. So there's like a new beginning here that you're that you're wanting. You want some kind of growth. So you went and you got that new beginning for yourself. It's something that I'm seeing here. And I think that's why they keep showing me the lever, someone the someone pulling the lever, because if you kept going down this path, it was going to remain unchanged, 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 and you're, eventually you're going to hit those rocks, it's going to crash. But sometimes that crash needs to happen, right, for the change to occur. So for some of you, you may have had a rude awakening with this person. Some of you, you pulled that lever and you created that change for yourself. So I think for some of you, it's, it's going to be different for all of you. You have here the night and I'm waiting when to talk about this person because this does feel possibly new, but we'll see what's happening here. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So you could have like blocked with this person. You have, you could have blocked this person or you just may be, um, you know, warding off, warding off their energy here. Cause look at this, like the fortress and the shield, like this is, this is some, again, supreme pr protection. This is protect. This is supreme protection and i feel like spirit wants you to feel this fortress energy that's around you right now i feel like you're being redirected to destiny i feel like you have a destined person i feel i'm seeing the wheel of fortune yeah there's a lot of self-awareness going on now but i feel like you brought you triggered this person's ego excuse me you triggered this person's ego. They may have been narcissistic or had narcissistic tendencies, vain. Yeah. If you're going again, the diving deep card again, you had that in your spiritual growth. Um, but this is don't assume. So this is definitely if you if you resonate with going through a legal matter right now, don't assume anything. Okay, read between the lines, pay attention, be very thorough at this time. Okay, so there's a lot of changes right now for you. And things, again, 50-50, things could go either way, but they're, regardless, like they're changing. So Spirit really wants you to trust the changes that are occurring right now. They're happening for your highest good. And then you shift into its time. Things are fast-tracked. Interesting, they use that word tracked here, and I saw the train on the track, and you had to pull the lever. So things are unfolding quickly and smoothly. So things are going to shift quickly for you in a new direction and spirit wants you to trust that and that's this um that's when we can talk about this night unfold quickly and smoothly and the night is fast fast moving energy last card and we'll get into the tarot yeah let it go the spilled milk yeah let go again and release here five and nine you could be seeing five 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 and nine 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 when it comes to this relationship i feel like you've sacrificed a lot in this relationship I feel like um, you have surrendered a lot. I feel like you have put them first. I feel like you may have listened and like were there for them for their dream, but you didn't feel that support in return for your dreams. Spirit is here. It's, it's saying like, leave it in the past. Mistakes happen. Let it go. It's a minor problem. It's a disappointment. Yes. But I feel like someone may have regrets over this. I don't know if this is you or the person that you're connected to here. 
I feel like they're just like in their own space, in their own shadows right now, connecting to their own experience. And I feel like you're connecting to your experience in the situation. And spirit wants you to trust that and, and, and release, release, let go. Okay. It cannot be changed again. It cannot be changed again, cannot be changed. And here you have unchanged and changing. So something like with this person cannot be changed or like what happened in the relationship can't be changed. And so again, this divine intervention, I'm seeing the tower, this lever to, to take you to a new direction is so that things can change for you regarding your love life. So that, so that spirit can move you towards your destiny and towards a destined person that's here for you. And that's why spirit, I feel like is, is blocking this person, blocking this energy. So you may be going through grief and loss right now when it comes to this connection. Um, I feel like for those of you who are watching this right now, yeah, there's the night again. Um, I feel like you know that this has ended for you or is coming to an end for you and you may be looking to see if there's hope of this person changing or maybe not even hope of this person changing or like if there's someone else for you. I feel like whenever I read people transitioning from one relationship to another, it's because people are wanting and needing to receive confirmation that there is a soulmate out there for them, that there's someone else out there for them. Um, I'm seeing 8118. So I feel like you guys know like what this is. I feel like this is a confirmation of the things that you already know. And you're wondering if there's a soulmate coming in for you. Yeah. Yeah. So Spirit is saying there. <laughs> they, they said look at the bottom of the deck. D um very likely and again with the train track very likely so there is a likely soulmate coming in for you and you do have here fairy tale and again you have this unicorn come out for you in your spiritual growth and um it says happily ever after romantic ending believe in the impossible i feel like this is someone new i feel like this is someone new or someone that you um Yeah, like recent new. If if you're currently like dating somebody that's new and that energy was in your past. One more shuffle. Sorry. One more shuffle. Okay, we're ready. Yeah, three of cups again. So celebration. So someone is definitely going to a wedding, going to a party. There's something about a wedding here. Um, graduation, some kind of celebration. Like there's a lot to celebrate. I also see you like single right now. For those of you that are single, you're going out with your friends, with your boys, with your girls. Um, I'm seeing a lot of celebration. What's going on here, Spirit, for Scorpio and their love? Oh, okay. So Seven of Cups came out. It did a little bit of a flip. It was it was in the upright and then it went into the reverse and then now it's upright again. And here you have the Queen of Cups. So I do feel like I don't I feel like you want to see your options, but you also don't want to see your options. You want to be seen, but like you're always seen. Like you're not does if that makes sense like I feel like you're so attractive and you're so loving. You're obviously very intuitive and powerful and psychic. Um, I feel like you don't really want to be noticed right now, but you're always noticed. Like, it's like, what is that saying? Like, rarely seen, but always noticed. I feel like whenever you go out, it's like people get this impression of you like, oh my God, it's so nice to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. Like you're rarely seen, but people always notice you. It's something that I'm seeing. I'm getting here for you, Scorpio. 
<laughs> which is such a Scorpio energy. Um, but I'm seeing like, I'm seeing suitors here with the seven of cups, but I don't know if you really like your options or if you want to give yourself to some of these options with the queen of cups in the reverse. Yeah. Six of swords. You're definitely, I feel like you're just moving towards peace or you're choosing peace right now here with the six of swords. Yeah, a ton of cups. You're choosing peace because there's some there again, something was just unfulfilling for you. You're definitely pulling the lever. I'm seeing this person here holding um what is that called on the boat? The row, rowing the boat. Row, row, row your boat. But I'm seeing that as like someone holding the lever and pulling it to move themselves in this new direction because something wasn't fulfilling for you and you're having a new start in love here with the fool. Yeah. Yeah. Four of Cups. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, there's a lot of gossip. There's a lot of drama. I feel like maybe that's why you're not going out a lot or seeing certain friends. See, there is a soulmate here for you. Six of Cups. But um, I feel like whatever this person tried to do in the relationship, whoever this is that you connected with, I feel like it was never really stable. Like there were, again, there were a lot of disagreements that rocked your stability. Every time you guys got stable, there was there, there was a disagreement that hit, you know, and it, it, you guys went back to instability. Like there's something like that. The Four of Pentacles. This person is still holding on to you, though. You have here um, the lovers. Yeah. And the tower. Yeah. See, yeah, but see, it's bringing in something new. I'm telling you, you're being redirected. I can fucking feel it. And here you have the hermit, seven of swords in the reverse, justice in the reverse, page of cups in the reverse. But you're looking for the future. Ten of pentacles in the reverse. This might have been a divorce. This might have been a recent divorce. Listen. Listen, you're truly a queen today. The queen does not accept the hands of a prince. She does not accept anything less. And I feel like here, this person is trying. I feel like they're trying, but it's it's almost like this energy of like, I don't know if this is enough for me. Is something that I'm seeing here because there's something that you no longer want to give to this person. You don't want to give your love to this person. And they're definitely, like, feeling it. They may also get very dramatic over this. But they're not letting go. They're not letting go. Even though they asked their, their space, even though maybe they were emotionally detached, they're still not letting go. They're still not letting go. Because I feel like they're holding on to connect to your, to connect to their experience that they had with you. They're currently trying to make sense of it. I feel like they're learning a lot of truth, so sorry, when my nose gets itchy, I'm channeling way too much right now, um, so my nose will get itchy, but the seven of swords is this person learning some kind of truth, but the lessons that they're learning, it's almost like, all right, like, okay, so learning the lesson or trying to see the lesson for what it is. But taking the lessons to fuel the ego and not the spirit is something that I'm seeing here. Like they're only taking bits and pieces of the lesson. They're not really going as deep as you go deep. They're like you go deep, deep. Like we read your spiritual growth message. We took you t we took time with you. I feel like you also take time to to understand your emotions. This per the way this person is learning the lessons is they're taking bits and pieces. It's like they're picking and choosing very selectively of the lessons to learn that fuel their ego. Because anything else is like so detrimental to them, to their ego right now that they're not willing to like let go or set aside to really learn. And I feel like that's where this cannot be changed. This is unchanging is coming from when it comes to this person. If that makes sense, that's how I'm seeing it. So I'm seeing like 
maybe that's how they have presented themselves in this connection with you is like oh yeah i learned i learned i learned and then you're just like okay yeah show me and you're just like you're doing the same thing because the lessons that they've learned only fed their ego and not their spirit so i'm always i'm seeing them like come towards you but they come towards you as like pages i'm seeing they come towards you as pages and like as knights i don't know why i just something happened there while i pulled and it did it again every time i'm pulling the night card so that's weird i don't know what that's fucking about that's never happened before um i just completely lost my train of thought what the fuck anyway i feel like you're not accepting the hand of this this knight this prince so I feel like there's someone new coming in for you, someone who's more confident, someone who's more heroic. I'm getting a lot of like queen vibe, like era of the castle and things like that here. Someone is, has a fighting spirit. Someone is very chivalry. They're going to honor you. I don't get that with this knight. I don't get that with that page, with that prince. I don't get that with this person, but I get it with, with them. And that's like the future that you're looking forward to. And so I feel like, again, there's a choice in love, that lever that I see you pulling. Some of you didn't pull that lever, so you're going to get the tower. And the tower brings in the ace of pentacles. You could be meeting an earth sign. You do have here person of earth and you do have here Virgo. I'm also seeing like this new love is going to come when you least expect it. You're going to, there's going to be a lot of like, again, depth, self-reflection that comes out of this relationship, or you may be experiencing this depth and self-reflection right now. This is your current timeline and you're, you're not really focused on anything else other than self. And that's when this, this new person comes in is what I'm seeing here. So, um, Scorpio, this was your reading. I hope that it resonated with you. I hope that you got something from it. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for trusting me with your energy. I am open for personal readings. Um, link is in the description box down below. You just need to like click more and then the description box opens. My website will take you to the personal readings that you can request for and book. Um, there is a six to seven month wait list. So again, everything in divine timing. And um, I also have merch on my website as well if you're interested. And you can also join the channel. Uh, you can become a member on the channel. And I do weekly readings every Wednesday on the channel. Again, thank you guys so very much. And I will catch you next time. Bye.